This product was provided by Nintendo. Xenoblade Chronicles, which one though? It's three! Surprise. Surprise. Hello everyone and welcome to what we're gonna call a first 20 here on uh, Steven Plays. Today we are taking a look at Xenoblade Chronicles 3, courtesy of Nintendo. Thanks Nintendo. And I think this is gonna be an interesting, uh, this is gonna be an interesting one because I have played about 90 minutes of the very first game. I haven't played any of any mm -hmm. of two. So really I'm going into three not as a fan of the series, but as someone who is looking at three as a standalone game and seeing how it how it plays. Mallory has been playing Xenoblade Chronicles 1. You haven't beaten it yet. No, I'm not but, done yet. But at least you have you're gonna have a little more Little bit. Little bit Maybe. more. Kind of. I don't know. Kind, we all know. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, we're gonna we're gonna jump into this now and, and see how this how this goes. The game has been updated. I haven't even played it yet. Let's take a look at the options. Just see what's in here. Oh my God, there's lots. Some it's weird because sometimes you open up a game and the options are like, do you want there to be sound? And then sometimes it gives you plenty of things. All right. Well, in that case, I'm gonna leave everything on, but I'm going to put uh, the audio. Oh, cutscene subtitles are on already. Oh, okay, great. Good. Then I don't care. That's it. That's the only thing I really wanted. All right, let's start a new game. Select a difficulty level. For those who want moderately difficult, generously balanced combat. There's also hard and easy. I always play things on normal. But you can change it at any time. That's nice. Now, you've been actively playing Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Yes. Um, this, the, the Xenoblade Chronicles games are standalone. I believe that they're they're linked in like some tiny vague ways, but it's they're they're standalone adventures. You can go out and you can play uh, three or two or one, and get your own, you know, experience. And this one takes place in London. <clears throat> Big Ben looks smaller. You know, you know, of all things, actually, the beginning of this gives me uh, Dark Cloud 2 vibes. A little, yeah. Doesn't it? Because you're in the... The town. Yeah. like you mean it. Slow down, guys! Is it true, though? There's gonna be fireworks! Yeah. Saw them setting up yesterday. There were loads of them. It'll be worth it, promise. Some people are pumpkins. Which is, I think, it's just a, I think it's just a thing in London, in the UK. There's some people that are sentient pumpkins. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 I think that person's from Fire Emblem. Got a little crossover going on. These seagulls are broken. I think they're doves or pigeons. Yeah, it makes way more sense. Sorry, I spent my entire life around seagulls, so white bird is uh, is seagulls. There's an entire planet or moon or something in the background. Interesting. It's it's already weird that we're in like a town because I associate Xenoblade with just like rolling hills. Mm -hmm. Something's hungry. Either that or Goku and Vegeta are fighting again. Oh man, this is bringing back 
vague memories of what I do remember of Xenoblade Chronicles. And my, my brain is just like, Dunban! And that's it. I don't remember any other part other than someone King screaming Dunban. Martial nations locked in war. Keves and Agnes. What is it they need to stay alive? Water? Food? Certainly. But what we need most is life itself. This is exactly how uh, the first one starts. It's a fight. Flames becoming your own in turn. Cool gadget neck. While the other, the one whose essence is stolen, leaves only a husk. So they absorb life force. Yeah, you know, uh, life soul. How can we claim their life if you blow up the whole sparking thing? Cripple them, aim lower. Y yes, sir. Lower and aim, sir. You don't take crotch shots like that. That's rude. Incredibly dangerous to just stand on top of that. Yeah. Fighting in order to live. Those look like volleyballs. They look like that. Fight. This the the, the new R two D two. Ionios. R three D three. Cruel irony that it should mean eternity. Because slowly but surely, our world is now dying. Even though we have yet to realize that fact. Oh man. Lance! Worry about yourself, Noah. There's still more of them. Even so. Shut it. Stop flapping your gums and move. Yeah, we've got more incoming. Oh, we're, oh, I'm in it. You're in it. I'm in it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you remember how to fight? Do I, from Xenoblade 1? Not at all, <laughs> but it will, t it will teach me. Auto attack. You will approach, it, uh, you automatically attack an enemy, you approach them. This is called auto attack. Stand still near an enemy, <laughs> you know, like you would do in a fight. To continue auto attacking, an icon confirming you're in range for auto attacks will be shown in the bottom right corner of the screen. I believe you. Go we'll stand near him. See, now you're in range. So it's happening. Uh-huh. I am engaging. You almost got him. One more good hit. You're engaging. You got him. Now go stand near another one. It says engage and defeat an enemy. I'm... Am I engaged? Did lock on? Did, I, did it teach me lock on? No, it didn't. Well, then, then what? How would I... How you're would fine. I do it? You're doing what it told you to. I am doing exactly what it told me. Okay. Is this also? I'm, this is also an auto attack range, which has been one of the most confusing elements of the Xenoblade Chronicles series to me. Is that I'm clearly not touching him, but it does work. I wish we could have. I did it. An exclamation point will mark your next destination. The number below it indicates how far away you are from the destination. You can review tips that have popped up in the game at any time from the main menu. I did that. We aced that one. Something shot me, maybe. No. You I'm... have a marker. Oh, oh! I just taught you that. No, it's not that. It's oh. that my controller was vibrating and I thought it was getting shot. <laughs> Don't get in over your head, okay, Lance? If 
Vibrating controller can only mean you're getting shot. Begin a battle by drawing your weapon. First, target an enemy, then press A to draw. Then uh, to withdraw, press hold A, and then I, I guess just run a yeah. lot. Approach an enemy to automatically target them. If there are multiple enemies, you can target through them with the shoulder buttons. Okay, yeah, you're mine. Hold on, Wait, stop moving. Stop, you're only making this harder. Win the battle. I think they're two level ones. Yeah, and one of our guys has some sort of crazy sniper assault rifle thing. And they have like... Where's the other one? I, they don't even have real swords. Those are like cosplay swords. We've got lightsabers. So they're doomed. Completely doomed. And you did. Take that, Agnes. You won the battle. Oh, look, there's, there's four more. more. There's more. Arts are stronger than auto attacks. They better be. They're called arts. They can be activated by pressing X, Y, or B. After using an art, you cannot use it again until its gauge fills back up. The art's gauges fill up automatically over time. This is called charging. Okay, so what do I got? Uh, area of attack. Good. Okay, and then sword strike. Okay, and then edge thrust. And then back attack up must mean that I get a bonus if I yes. do it in, into someone's back. Yes. If I, if I plunge my sword into their back hole. Probably that better. Right, so this guy, I'm behind him. Yeah. Into the back hole, boom! 149 damage, so that was more. That was much more. That was much more, admittedly. Okay. Here, just for fun. Done. Done. Sir. They're tough. And here Let's I thought I <laughs> That guy just was like, yeah, my buddy's left me. Oh buddy, you are you are screwed. You are screwed, buddy. Back, Back attack. Oh, he got a lot of He got a lot He's of oh. stronger. Edge break. Side break. Yeah, I already did that. I'm thinking the side break means maybe I should attack from the side. Yes. I figured that out on my on my own. So. Pretty really smart. Um, back attack. Yeah, that hurt, didn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna hit this guy. Let's do it from the side. Side break. And I got break. And topple. topple. What is that? Do you know what that it's means? It's like a stun. Okay. And days. That guy, I chopped that guy up. I mean, it doesn't really matter. If he's gonna die anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. Gotta get back to Fire Emblem. They outflanked us. Lance, the front line. That Trish's team. Uni, how are things with Kite? Oh. What about our backup? Those seem dark. Looks like they're busy guarding the artillery. They're not going anywhere. Anyone's moving right now, it's us. Let's go! If the front line breaks, we're all dead. But the position! We're we spending a lot ourselves. of time talking. Go on, move it! We got one of them pumpkin fellers with us, but that one's blue. Oh, that seems oh, bad. Do I find a big thing? Elevenness. Well, now we know. It's do or die, Noah. Got it. Are you ready for this? Lula. Oh god, I'm learning new things. Talon arts are stronger than normal arts. A talon art can be activated by pressing A once its circular gauge is full. A talon arts gauge is recharged by performing actions expected of a character's role. Also so called role would actions. Be healing, and then yeah. you would recharge. Okay, yeah, sure. Attacker's role action. If you can meet the requirements for arts that give bonus effects for positioning, your talon art icon will flash red and your talon art gauge will charge up a lot. 
Actions that deal damage effectively, such as dealing critical hits or participating in combos, also count as row actions, charging. So the stuff I've been doing already. Yes. Basically. Like, doing attack, doing back attack from the back, doing yes. side break from the side, doing AOA to more than one character. Okay, so basically play the game correctly. <laughs> Got it. Oh, but you can also cancel attacks. Performing an attack the moment the previous one hits allows you to cancel one attack into the next, making them flow quickly into each other. Okay. You can cancel auto attacks into arts and arts into talent arts. Doing this speeds up the execution, letting you deal more damage quickly. That sounds complicated. But, you know, I'm gonna do it. Get behind the enemy. Okay, I'm doing it. He's so big! It's teaching me about the thing I already did. Back attack. Okay. So, let me get on the side here. Side break. Alright, here comes... All of the good stuff is happening right now. Doing the back attack slightly from the, the side there. That's probably not as good. <laughs> no. I got, so, I got so excited. I was like, oh, all the good things are happening. Here. He's not even... I don't, is he even really... He's not hitting you. That's convenient. It's because I'm down below his oh, little... Oh, you got it ready. His little robot butthole, so he's... Can't even get to me. 532, baby. He's gonna win now. Let's do a side break from the side. Yeah. Topple! We are, we are putting on the spicy mustard right now. We are, we are you putting... Sure are. We are putting so much horseradish into this, and it's still, it's still growing. Okay, that's probably good. I don't want to get that. No. There you go. Now you can use that. Here we go again. It's got a lot of health. It does. That didn't. I feel like that didn't do as much as the last time. Got the break in the topple. Back tech in, it's still down. There's a little gauge up by its health bar that shows that, but he's gonna be down in a second. It says try using your talent art. I was like, I already did it. Twice. For the win! Boom. There you go. Got him. Take that, you oversized dump truck. Let the bodies hit the floor, but an acoustic version slowly builds into the background. We've taken so much life. Both, like, literally and literally. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, goodness. They'll have that thing stripped of its copper in hours. But at what cost? We won! Your lives are ours! Your, Your lives, lives are ours! <laughs> <laughs> Your lives are ours! Your <laughs> You're not even dead. We just, we took it. We took it. We stole it. We put it in our big robot sucker and took it right out of you. A brief reflection moment of like, hmm, yeah. war is hell.
She's got a chair, right? Maybe. She's just standing there? I hope she's got a chair. Her poor legs. It's clearly some sort of throne room. She got a big old staff. I hope she has a chair there. Every one of us is born looking like this. Like a like a truck? <laughs> As soldiers. Oh, oh, it's As weapons oh, for slaying Agnians. Yes. All of us live only to fight. Cut that out! Stupid Noah! Nice one, Lance. Too early for that. Look, it's you they're after here. Because you have the red sword. Seems kind of at an advantage if you have a gun. They're gonna get it handed to him. Ah, flickering hoop. You're as slippery as Noah sometimes. Uni. Chick never shuts up. Kite. Range darts. Easy. I was just going to sit here and do nothing. Until you asked me. But now that you've given me this, and it's easy this to instruction, do. it's easy to do. I was just over here on my phone. I was just reading Twitter. I'm getting Ender's Game vibes. So they're in like training. I snuffed this up. <laughs> but also they they use like the real bullets. Yeah. You know, for training. You okay? Uni. Cheers for that. You're a lifesaver, Yorin. Sparking dead weight. Hey! Change of plan. Kite, you keep firing and don't stop. Oh, uh, what? Whatever you want. Huh? Go ballistic. Just draw their attention. Because what we're after here is that lame duck. Yorin? But he's bottom of the class. Why bother? Thing is, the brat's still a decent healer. It's a good it? plan. You always oh, go after right. the healer first. So we're playing by the book here. Pisses me off, but the fight will be good as one. Yeah. yeah. Literally, like a good, good plan. Like it, the healer first. This is just futuristic paintball. <laughs> is it not? This is like laser tag, but real explosion. And they're behind cover! Noah, can we flank them? Noah! How could this happen to me? They're not in their usual formation. Wait, what? <gasps> We're snuffed! Kai's just a decoy, so they're really after. Oh. <laughs> Quick thinking, Lance. <laughs> Lance? <laughs> ah. Tough guy, but you can't hold out forever. <laughs> Spark. He doesn't need to, just until everyone else shows up. Which it seems like they're doing now. Lands! Uh, you 
they put? They want to take you out the running. I mean, Yorin's only got one eye. Yorin's got to get just a little more haircut in order to be able to see the enemies coming at him a little bit better. What? Why would you... Can they fly? Can they float? Can they glide? Because they're every hat's gonna have to be tailor-made. Every hat. You can't just go into a, a gas station and get a nice trucker hat. Everything's gotta be. You gotta cut holes. Get off me! Had to go and play the hero, didn't he? You really think you could have taken them? <sighs> <sighs> I think Yorin did the right thing. If he hadn't used his powers back there, you'd have been first out of the running. Yeah, but still. Didn't have to go get himself killed for it. Come on, he was trying to protect you. He lured in Garvel's gang, gave us a chance to turn it around. Ugh. You know who wasn't up to it? We weren't. Yeah, but- Just stop it! No more arguing. It's my fault. I should have just done a better job. Then we'd have won. Hey. Correct. <laughs> so much for getting to the final, huh? Sorry. I let us down on your big day. I'm so sorry. What big day? The birthday. What? Whose? Yours, dummy. It's your second term, right? Remember? Oh. A win would have been a nice surprise. Lance was pretty fired up too, weren't you? Cut it out. Hey. What? You'll apologize, right? Might do, might not. We each have a lifespan of ten years. We oh, God. <laughs> Life begins with our first term and ends at the close of our tenth. And over the course of those ten years, we fight continually. Though in reality, there aren't that many who can hold their flame for the whole ten years. Most lose their lives on the battlefield before they reach year ten. But those who do survive to the end become the Xena Blade. Special service. We call it the Homecoming. Morning, Yorn. Hey, Noah. Morning. Morning, uh, Lance. <laughs> Get a move on. Quick, we're gonna miss the homecoming. Someone turned 10. I wonder if it's at the Chuck E. Cheese, because I think right? that's what I was doing at 10. Yeah, isn't it awesome? Maybe a bowling alley? Must be a huge bowling alley, holy cow. You know what you did for your 10th birthday? Probably went to the YMCA. There was like a climbing wall and the pool and... It does sound... That does sound pretty good, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's Shulk! That's... He got taller. And a cape. Am 
my kingdom for a chair. Whoa! Even the queen's come out! So that's Her Majesty, huh? She's never wow. sat down before. I've never seen her before! Does she also only live oh. ten years? That'd be awkward. moment Noah knew I must become ten or I want to learn to play the piccolo I wanted it to I can reach out this big I can too Wow the stories but this is just wild that's gonna be me someday just you try and stop me you guys too you're totally making it with me of course uh, hmm. and you Boy, know I love being right? a child soldier huh? isn't it great sure. Noah yeah it's great yeah you bet our lives came from the Queen and we all lived for a chance to take part in the homecoming. The chance to return to the Queen's embrace. Carrying out ten years of service, fighting. So they're bees. That was our whole world. Nobody ever thought to question it. I don't Until have an argument. Day, sure the song was in Titanic. And that's the end of Xenoblade 3, everyone. Thanks for watching. Our side won, of course, and uh, we learned some lore. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was a pretty short experience, yeah. but also one and two were so long. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I don't really blame them for going a much shorter route. It was nice that right at the beginning they got the battle out of the way, and and now we just get to see the the homecoming, which was foretold. Roll credits. In chapter three of Xenoblade Chronicles mm -hmm. two. So, yeah, this is, it's been really nice. I think the credits start coming up and they just pick up the bodies and they look for uh, any of the bodies that have really nice boots. Um, and about halfway through the credits you get to play that and you just look for nice boots for the rest of the game. If you find enough, uh, they'll turn your pumpkin friend back into the original uh, orange. Wish we could fly. Do you have to? Huh? You shouldn't be sending those guys off like that. What? Why not? Why are you like this, Noah? It's Agnes, our enemy. Well, yeah. They don't have an officer, though, to send them. Yeah, they all bit the dust thanks to us. So what? Look, there's no rule not to. Then what, you're just gonna keep going? Noah, why are you the way I that you are? You, Noah. I know we're putting our lives on the line, but still. Yeah, yeah, we get it already. Friend or foe, someone has to lay them to rest. For that is my role as an officer. Right. Uh, is my voice that deep? Shot at you. I wasn't trying to be anyone specific. Right. I've had about enough of all this depressing crap. Let's head back and hit the showers. I'm all gunked up with blood and sweat. Ah, oh, bye, transport. Guess we missed it again. Oh, 
bollocks. Ah, Noah always. I guess we'll just walk the 500 miles. Walk home now. That's just that's the game. You walk back, and you turn ten when you get there. When I wake up. That's the game. Well, you know I'm gonna be. Ah. Uh. Seems like Noah has a complicated relationship uh, with war. A little bit. With his um, reason d'etre? Yeah. Oh, now there's... Oh. I think we've made oh, it to, to the tutorial section of the game. Atia region, region, ever blight plain. There are places across the world that will give you EXP once found. Key locations are called landmarks, and the especially difficult to find ones are called secret areas. It's a good name for them. When the whole party has been incapacitated in battle, you will return to the last landmark you passed. Alternatively, uh, don't die. The mini-map is displayed at the top right of the screen. It displays the character's immediate surroundings and quest destinations. You can press uh, R to display the map. Press Z and Y whenever you need navigational assistance. Doing so will display the shortest route to your destination. Be advised, however, the shortest route may sometimes take you past tough enemies, so, you know, don't. <laughs> All right, let's head back to Colony 9. All right, um, that is going to conclude the first 20 portion of this stream. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you're on Steven Plays and you're like, hey, that was great. First off, thanks. Really appreciate that. Are you already subscribed to Steven Plays? You should be. Did you click like? You should do that. Did you hit the bell? Did you hit the, is that what, it, that's what it's called. The notification a whole bell. I, YouTube's awful. Anyway, um, if you want to keep watching, um, we're going to put the rest of this on Steven VOD so you can like. If you want to watch more. Click a button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can watch where this is right in time. But we got to like cap it on Steven Plays. There's like rules for that. We get in trouble. Okay. Go, go do it now. You're still here. Go do it now. Just... Okay, thanks. <laughs>